Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play here on Callan, a romantic coastal retreat island. I am in the shopping district today, which is actually located very, very close to the entrance. Also brief, uh, I don't know, apology, I guess, because I might sound a little bit sick. Plus, it is still kind of early for me, um, but I already, you know, this, in case you're caught up with the Let's Play, then this episode is already kind of late because I was a little bit sick uh, when I was supposed to actually record. So uh, we're doing this today. I haven't played on this island in a while and I'd like to. And so um, I hope that's okay. Anyway, we are very close to the entrance. So the entrance to this island is right over here. You can kind of see on the map that I've placed a bunch of the like main structures very close together we've got the campsite over there we have resident services right here with a little concert going on today and then if we walk over to the left hand side this is where my nook's cranny is um we have already kind of worked on this part there's just a couple of boxes and a couple of like items around it and then i included this like fountain here with the shopping bag in the background and then my able sisters is right here to the left with this entire like beach area basically um oh apparently i have dropped a back here uh with the entire beach area which goes all the way over to this side and i'd like to actually maybe work a little bit on the able sisters I have not really worked on this island in quite a while, so um, I have to kind of familiarize myself again with it and also just kind of see what type of items I have. Truth be told, I think a trip to like a treasure island is long overdue. I'm missing a couple of things if I'm not mistaken, but I just thought we'll kind of see, we'll kind of see like what we can actually achieve today. So for the Able Sisters, I just kind of want to do like a regular like shop, I think. Like we're going to put down a couple of uh, dresses, maybe like a sign or something. Let me actually go through this from the top. Um, and then also maybe we can use the like Zen cushions for some fabric uh, displays or something. Actually, I don't think I can use the Zen cushion on top of the stacked uh, Zen cushions. So I'll grab some cushions as well. Um, and I'm not even sure, like I am i don't even know if we have the sewing machine or like if the sewing machine fits this entire vibe because it might not. And for that reason, I didn't even get it in the first place, but I kind of want to check that. And then, I mean, log benches are great for like display of, of stuff. I don't even know. Like, I mean, I, I probably would much rather go and place down a couple of dresses instead of having like tables there, maybe. Maybe that is much smarter. Um, we can probably go and use some lock stakes, maybe also some shell partition for the uh, for the vibes, you know, and then, um, yeah, we have a couple of washing machines, but I don't think this is right, really the place. I mean, we do have, uh, is it Daisy, I think, on this island? Daisy is very into fabric, so Daisy actually has, oh, there we go. Oh my god, a sewing machine. Okay, perfect. Actually, that one looks very cute, and we might also just grab a couple of clotheslines because I just, I do think it kind of makes sense. Um, and then towards the right-hand side of this beach, I, I don't think I get there today. So like just close to the entrance, I think we're just going to go with like a boat, um, you know, like kind of a coastal build right by the entrance. I feel like that somewhat makes sense to my brain in a way. All right. We will maybe also include some wheat fields. We'll check for that in a second. Did I get a garland? I'm not sure. Let me grab a garland and then we'll go over to the miscellaneous stuff and we'll also see if we can grab anything here. Like a mirror maybe would be okay food not really uh shell stuff maybe maybe uh there's like a wash tub i don't know if i want that here though the lilies might be a nice touch and then um i was gonna say like the sewing project or sewing box maybe again though i feel like the sewing box is not in a good customization so maybe that one isn't the best stack of clothing for sure right stack of clothing is very very good and maybe a cash register. I actually think I'd like to have more paper bags. Didn't I actually have this little storyline? Let me just go and run there and see. I should also go grab some customization kits and a workbench because I, I did grab quite a few things that will need like a pattern. But so we do have, God, where is that? Oh, it's, it's Flurry's house. It's Tutu and Flurry that own like a bakery together, right? 
and we ended up putting this bag down and I remember I mean I hopefully remember this correctly I remember saying like maybe this could be the official like logo of um able sisters more or less and so we kind of placed a couple more bags around it with that design on it maybe that would be that would be somewhat a smart idea all right okay so i've i already have like a pocket full of stuff i kind of want to maybe drop the bag like here this is path so it's not going to really be in the way but that way it's not going to block like my inventory if that makes sense and then i also just want to quickly get some uh customization kits and also a workbench so that we can work on those cuter customizations. There we go. Workbench. And do I still have customization kits? I have a couple of music pieces. Oh, that's right. Didn't I get like music stuff recently? That's good. Um, and we can also maybe use some fence. I don't know if I've used fencing in this part. Oh yeah, blue simple wooden fence. Okay, that is good to know. All right, so you kind of go down here and you can basically just go into Able Sisters right away. And so I feel like most of our setup, to be fair, is going to be on the beach, which is like interesting. I don't know if that's going to be like the cutest. I feel like sometimes beach stuff is hard to do uh, and to really make it like super cute and special and whatnot. But we're going to try. Um, the first thing I would like to do is I would like to have my lock bench maybe right here in front of the window display we're gonna see what that looks like so that could be kind of like this all right uh interesting maybe not maybe not and then what about the zen cushion stuff instead a pile of zen cushions we have like a pile of fabrics in a in a way like over here which we'll customize or maybe kind of like over here and then that's a dress what does that look like? Um, side note, by the way, I still have to add all of the designs that I have um, as for the dresses here. I still have to add those to my website. Um, that is not how I wanted that to be placed. I do, however, have most of them in some shape or form on my Pinterest. So in case you see anything that you really want to check out today, um, and it's not on the website just yet, feel free to check the Pinterest because it might be there. Okay, not a big fan of this. Also, that dress, I think, in the window is just not the ideal thing to work with today. <laughs> that is, um, I, I've, I feel like I've seen better things. Okay, well, maybe we'll try to work with the log bench. Um, we might also just, like, like plant stuff there. And then I do think this, this tree here is quite, like, tall. I'm not sure if maybe we should just move it, like, a tile further to the front front like a tile further down i feel like maybe that'll already help and not make it nope not there right here basically so it won't like cover too much of that part just in front of the window because right now i feel like it wouldn't even matter what we put there it's just kind of hidden anyways you know like i mean i don't love how much this frees it up i'm pretty sure we can't move um we can't move the tree over probably so maybe so the coconut tree kind of goes here that's a little bit like a little bit more out there. Okay. Right. And then, I mean, I did have, I, I did bring a few things. I'm just trying to think. So the official path obviously is connected here. Um, I want to do like this one area where, where they can like, sew. you know, where they've got their sewing machine, which is basically right here. Um, and I also thought about maybe the garland. But I don't know if that'll work together. So what if we have the garland with the sewing machine? I'm just trying to think about whether that would be cuter, like, towards this part or towards the other side. Okay, absolute, like, sewing. I mean, I'm going to assume that if she places it down like this, that's the way you're supposed to have it. Like, that way around. But, like, this way around. If it's this way around, though, I kind of want to place it on the right-hand side. Okay, so let's let's kind of try this maybe here. We can also maybe have like a coconut tree behind it. I just, I feel like I need to create some type of area, you know, like fence off this part, like really surround this with trees or surround this with like other items to, to make it like more obvious that we're working with like a themed something here. 
<laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but yeah. Because I think this is, this is, this is like too open towards the back. I feel like that's a little weird uh, in some way. Now, I will definitely be placing some dresses, and then I think here should be like the cut off to the like entrance, just placing some yachts or something. So maybe this is like a good moment to have some lock stakes. Um, and then recently it feels like for my beach decorating, um, and it's been okay for like the things that I've built, but sometimes it feels like I've been overdoing it with the coconut trees. Uh, because it's like, it's the only tree that I can place on the beach. And so I always kind of feel like I need to, I need to really go out there and add a whole bunch of those, you know, but it's just, it's just maybe not the greatest. Okay. I also did bring the shell partition. I'm trying to think like a lot of other things feel like they don't make sense here to use as a partition. Okay. Wrong way around. I think wrong way around shell partition. There we go. Okay, definitely not liking this a whole bunch. Um, I don't know. Maybe this isn't the place. Maybe this is actually better over here. We're just going to try it again. So the garland could kind of go here. The sewing machine could go like in front. I mean, if you run there, that's maybe fine. And then this would need like a like a wooden stool, maybe. Maybe it's just that maybe this is just not working, really. Maybe that is just not working. Also, I just had another idea. If we push the fabric thing a little bit more, uh, I just need to find my wait. I've put it back up here. <laughs> I was trying to find my storage shed. Um, I had placed it. So. Um, if we try to push the fabric thing more, maybe we can work in like a, a curtain partition. I've been trying to think about like taller stuff, but I don't think the transportation stops or the like storefront and stuff. I don't think those are really what we're looking for. Um, and also not the fence. Like I feel like all those are just not, they're just not the vibe really. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll see. Um... Two ideas, either curtain partition. I mean, it's actually kind of already looking cuter just against the coconut tree, if I'm honest. Like, I feel like this is already cuter than <laughs> than the previous version with like the Festivali Garland was. Okay, I kind of like that then. Or just as an item combination. I did want to just try the curtain partition, but I feel like this will probably look weird. Um... Because, like, what is what is behind there and stuff, you know? Oh, wait. Question. What does that do here? Nope, not long bench. The curtain partition, please. Oh. Okay, well, I guess... I guess that's a little interesting. I kind of I kind of thought it might be a little bit more fun, but it, it it exactly covers the dress, which I mean is also kind of good in a in a sense, but it covers the dress and then it's just um it's just kind of there. <laughs> okay, so what if this here is the sewing machine then? Um with just like a wooden stool in front of it, and then maybe we can use some like Zen cushions right there. I love Zen cushions. On a half tile there we go with like the cushions right there you know and maybe we can also play something else in front either this could be the yeah lock stool we also still have the lock stool so here can't be pushed closer i don't think either here or it could also be like here almost and then there could be something else there i'm not sure um just so like this is her little workstation right here and then the display of clothing stuff is more going to be on this side, which maybe I should also grab some clothing pieces. Like I know there's a couple of dresses that are actually quite cute uh, for this like theme as well. So, you know, like striped dresses like this, we can maybe just incorporate these like in between the um, in between the other stuff, like in between the custom designs. We'll see how that looks. And I need to remember to order new ones because obviously now I've used up my my own dresses. Okay. I don't know. I don't know where I should place like a coconut tree. Okay. But so this would be like some dresses here. 
And then what else? What type of stuff do I still have? Oh, the shop sign. Okay. Well, the shop sign. The thing is, I don't have a custom design that I can really put on it, except for like those flowers. But I don't really have like a like a cool like shop design. I could put like the bulletin board, but that's been tied mostly to like the spa area. Um, I could try it. I could try it. I could have the plain wooden shop sign somewhere like here. It's so big though. I don't think I want that. Maybe the table. Do you know that that table sign th thing where you can have like custom designs being like fifty percent off? Like maybe something like that would be better, but I don't think I'll get it. Oh, and then maybe this right here would be like the clotheslines. Don't know how I feel about the dark wood here because I feel like you know for the coastal stuff we've not really been using that um, too much. I did just kind of start using this for Lurie's uh, like patio moment which I, th I don't think was done um but maybe just kind of down towards the beach we can also check if the other clothesline works like the one that doesn't have the wooden part but that has like the um i don't even know what it is like concrete or something i don't know <laughs> okay we've got uh the garland the plain wooden shop sign that was kind of a no i would still love to use the pile of zen cushions to be fair Maybe pile of zen cushions with either another cushion here or oh yeah we still have shell stuff too and lilies oh the you know what the lilies i kind of could see up here maybe they just wanted to add something cutesy to help in their display and then maybe this could be like a stack of clothes clothing hi tutu oh my god tutu's like oh, what's happening here what is happening? What are you doing to our shop? This is so exciting. I mean, I hope it's exciting to her. <laughs> okay, but the lilies there, I quite like. I like how tall they are. I think that works very well with like the side um, of the, of the um, oh my god, display case, I think. Maybe display case. Um, oh yeah, the cash register I wanted to kind of see. Okay, so I think probably the cash register would work on the left-hand side there as well. Um, I did just want to see this dirty paper bag, maybe not on the uh, actual lock bench, but kind of just like here. Oh, yeah, I like that. We're going to place another one right here. I am somewhat starting to like this. It might seem like weird and all over the place right now, but I feel like just with a few um, uh, clusters of, of items, it's already kind of starting to come together more or less. Um... Oh, do we also include a few like dress, uh, sorry, uh, not dress things like headwear, like hats or shoes. Oh my God. We should include shoes. I think shoes would be great on the lock bench to be fair. Um, and then as for like hats, I feel like we are currently wearing the one that's like best for this entire part. So I don't know about that. Um, but maybe we can have some shoes like the ribbon sandals. The ribbon sandals could be very, very cute. Oh my god, and the lacy parasol. I want that to be part of this. Yes. Okay, so what about this here? Oh, what about this here being the straw boat? Or how tall is that? It would have to be placed from the other side. See, the thing is, I kind of feel like that's too tall. I think we need something much lower. So I either the stack of clothing customized or the shoes don't seem quite enough. Oh my god, everything's going wrong now. Um... The shoes don't seem quite enough. <gasps> the lacy parasol. What about this one here? Uh, ooh, very tall. I, and I have to place it from like a different, from a different side. I have no idea how though. Uh, pretty much the other side then, right? Wait, what does it look like if we place it from the back? Like if we stand here, we place down the parasol. Yeah, it always just goes sideways. I don't really love that. So I'm kind of thinking... Maybe I can succeed if I plant the, if I place the lilies here, but then I think this will just go. Oh no, it did actually go there. Eh, eh, it's not perfect, is it? It is not perfect. Okay, two things, something else for on the bench. And also I want to see if the other clothesline would be better here. Okay, something else for on, oh, I mean, cushion could also work here. 
we can have just a cushion there. Um, we did try the stack of clothing. I mean, oh, the sewing box thing. A toolbox sewing project. We still have that with us, right? I did grab that, if I'm not mistaken. I already have some flowers on it, so no flowers. Um, it could also be like a little box like this. I don't think I want to put the pink one there, but it could be... We could almost pretend it's like a jewelry box, you know? Speaking of jewelry, I know there's like this accessories stand thing also. I don't have it though. Um, but yeah, like a cushion could be fine. We really need to, I need to, I need to do some Treasure Island trips. I've been, it's always weird. Um, to those of you who use Treasure Islands, I would love to know if you kind of feel the same sometimes. Okay, how cute is this cushion? <laughs> It does not work with our theme, but how cute is this cushion? Um, yeah, but some of you who, or to those of you who use Treasure Islands, maybe you can report back to me if you kind of get the same thing sometimes. But honestly, like if you haven't played on your island for a little bit, it's so hard sometimes to really know like what to even get because it almost feels like you're out of touch with your own island. It's like the weirdest concept. And I feel like, ooh... Oh, I might like this one. We could even play something. You're literally not going to hear it, but we could technically play something too. Uh, play something. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, like ever since I played on this island last, like ever since I recorded last, I literally finished two of my islands. I finished my fall island for that the, um, the island tour is already up in case you're interested. And I also did actually finish my Encanto island, um, which I'm still working on the videos for that one. Um, ooh, this might be nice. Not in this color, for sure, but this might be nice. Oh, yeah, I think maybe this is good. Um, and so I'm, like, completely not in the Callan, like, headspace right now. Like, my mind is still either Fall Island or, like, Encanto-themed island. And then I've been, st I've been starting to think about, like, a new island theme, Plus, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I'm still on the Calathea struggle bus. In case you don't know that island, it's like supposed to be, it was supposed to initially be like my forever island, but it's now supposed to be my botanical garden. And it's just been a bit of a struggle for me, but I've been, I want to, like, I want to work on that island. So I've kind of been thinking more about like, what can I do there to make it work, you know? Okay, if anything, then this colorful quilt here would work, but honestly, I'm not, the hopes are not high. I feel like this is a little bit outside of the, um, outside of the color scheme. Although, 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 you know, if we actually include some pink here, like that could work. That could be fine. I don't know though. Maybe it's better to just use a regular cushion or just also use something else. I feel like there should still be something on this side here, um, which I'm not going to lie. I feel like a stack of Zen cushions, like another one. Zen cushion. Let me try this. Cause like just a Zen cushion on the floor is, is it's so low. <laughs> Okay, and then I still have not included a stack of clothing, which I think we really should. Um, or, like, the sewing project that I just had. We haven't used that one still. I do have another cushion with me. And then also, like, the shell stuff. Oh, lacy parasol would be would be mighty fine. Over here, maybe. Or somewhere. Oh, actually, wait. That's maybe cute. Yeah, somewhat, like, here... I think, honestly, though, maybe this dress right there, <laughs> this dress should be a coconut tree instead. Like, in that spot, I think it, may, it might be nice to have a coconut tree. Because I think we need to maybe keep this part relatively open. Um, Maybe we can just have... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What about the shell partition? Just pushed, like, halfway behind it. Actually, actually, I think, maybe... That is not the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> Every time I decorate something and I'm kind of okay with it, I'm like, maybe not the worst thing I've ever done. It's like, you know, I can't, I can't, for the life of me, I can never like openly say like, oh, I like this. I've done a good job. <laughs> okay. While I admit that maybe the wooden thing here is not the best, I feel like this isn't quite the vibe, you know? 
Okay, so shall we go ahead and place... Oh, see, here's the issue. We can either place a coconut tree there. In that case, I think it should go further to the left, actually. And then it'll be interesting with the with the shell partition. I'm going to watch me. I'm going to like completely basically destroy the entire setup and make everything super, super awkward again. OK, I kind of cannot be bothered right now to really go time travel, I think. OK, I need to get a few coconuts. Um. And then maybe we'll get started with that now. Uh, like I said, I, I want to try not to overdo it this time, but you know. So this right here could maybe just be like a tall grown one. And then I want to have like an entire like setup around it. So maybe we just do like a coconut tree here, which I think might be third stage. So we have like enough space here for a, for a display. And then part of this will probably just be fillers. So we can have maybe another coconut tree right here, like by that pond thing. Maybe this one here also moves then. Maybe that one is more like here in a way. So that one goes here and then we might have another tree, like a like a fully grown one, basically right there. And then anything else from here, we'll figure it out some other time. Um, maybe that's all the trees. Maybe that's going to be all the trees so that we can still have a decent amount of dresses. You know, like, let's say that is the fully grown tree right there. Then the dress would be like next to it, probably. Probably also hidden, if we're honest, you know, and maybe some of this stuff would just change kind of like this. I mean, that would still kind of work. I somewhat like the shell partition there. I'd be open to keeping that. And then the parasol could also be moved around. I do think I want to go back to the regular clothesline. Um, I will customize them for sure. But I think I like this. And then maybe the lacy parasol could be right here. Like a little off to the side somewhat. All right. And then I've done the straw boater also. Uh, by the way, it probably is very quiet since I'm working on this ocean part the entire time. Um, okay. Okay, weird noob question, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should know this. The stacked cushions, like the stack of Zen cushions. Oh my god, what is it called? Pile of Zen cushions. Is that um a DIY thing? Ah, oh, that is a DIY thing. Okay, I... Hmm, let me guess. I don't have the DIY, do I? Uh, Nook shopping, no DIY recipes, please? Yeah, I think it would be here. I don't have it. Okay. Right. Right, right, right. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. That checks out, of course. No problem. Um, right. So, um, maybe I just use something else or maybe I will just add that later on. You know, we can always make, you can always make changes to this. I did just think maybe it'd be smart to include like, okay, boxy stool could work instead. Or like a footrest. Um, but what I was going to say is maybe it would be smart to include another log bench further to the right hand side or like a project table, you know, some type of like display table. I'm not sure that I think the counter table is maybe taking it like a step too far, um, but the display thing could work. And I think log decorative shelves are not quite it. We can try maybe the wooden partition as like a a thing to kind of plop everything against. Maybe the shell partition would also just have to be moved somewhere but i i weirdly enough kind of like it there <laughs> so kind of here you know like this is the part where i kind of want to include all those so either here's the project table but i think that's kind of it's a little tall it's a little tall which makes it somewhat awkward with the edge of the island or I, yeah the edge of the beach i don't really know uh shell lamp wood partition right so this would be something that we could literally put like partial partially behind the trees uh the dresses <laughs> yeah no no i don't think that's it i don't think that's it i feel like the log bench could be it you know this with like a dress in front and then we can have maybe the the hat that we've been trying to place this entire time 
I think Tutu might want to purchase some cushions. Maybe this is just not the vibe either. Um, boxy stool, Moroccan footrest. Maybe this should be a Zen cushion. Hold on, let me grab this real quick. So you are a Zen cushion. I just, oh my god. I really, really wish sometimes that these would be like tiny images of the actual items. Because sometimes finding stuff just takes so long. I really hate it. Okay, and maybe like stack of clothing. And then this could be like literally the shoes. That feels like something is missing right there. Or another cushion? Just need something a little wider, you know? Or maybe these have to be placed like sideways. Hold on. So they kind of go here instead. Stack of clothing. That still doesn't really solve the other side of this, but that's okay. Ooh, cash register. <laughs> Just randomly like here on the beach. I mean, as far as item combinations go, I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of like it. I just don't think it's it's the vibe here. I do not think that is the vibe here. Um, okay, what about that right there? Oh yeah, that might be better. That might be better, and then the sandals maybe go on the Zen cushion. That either go here or somewhere else. And then this could be another dress maybe. Should this maybe be the one that I'm wearing? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this. And then maybe we can do even more dresses somewhere else. Okay, what are we thinking about this, like, lineup of items? I'm not sold on this cushion, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then obviously we have a lot of the... A lot of the customizations that are still not great. Plus I still wanted to put something here, right? Right, right, right. I mean, the boxy stool is cute. Or the Moroccan footrest is still an option, which I think might be nice here because it's also a little bit of a different shape to the thing in the background. Uh, and then on top of it, I still have the either shell things. We can put a music box or we can put the sewing project. Sewing project on this. Slightly weird. Other, oh my gosh, other idea. Sewing project actually goes on this here because I feel like it aligns better with the shape of the Zen cushions, kind of like this, you know? And then the Moroccan footrest goes here with the cushion on top. Actually, also not bad. Or Moroccan footrest goes here with the stack of clothing. I want to, oh, there we go. I want to try the options that we still have before I really make a decision. Because, I mean, this could also work. Or this with the music box, but I feel like if I use the music box here, I don't think that's working. I don't think that's 100% working. That would have to maybe be placed on the Zen cushions. Um, okay, and then last combination I want to check is the boxy stool. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> is the boxy stool with this on it. But this is probably going to overlap towards the sides and then, yeah, that is just magically hovering in the air, which I don't think I'm a big fan of. So that's, that's that. Okay, so you go and then this is going to be, I think Moroccan footrest was my favorite. Moroccan footrest with, uh, what do we like? Do we like the cushion? Maybe we like the cushion. Uh, if I can find it. Oh, the cushion. There we go. Okay, somewhat like this. And to be fair, I did bring another sturdy paper bag, which I would not be opposed to putting right here as well. And then maybe this is somewhat the setup. Now, we have a couple of things to do. Number one, we need to customize pretty much everything that can be customized. So all the bags, should be that design with the flower. The um, sewing box over here is not the right thing just yet, which actually speaking of, I don't even know if one of the versions fits perfectly. I think it does though. 
I think I tried using it um, in my own house and it didn't like fully work, but it wasn't bad. Oh, and I only have it in brown and natural. Okay. Well, do we like the natural then? The natural might already be better than this. I also should probably reorder the dresses that I've used now, uh, but I might just do that like off stream. A sturdy sewing box. Let me just place the order with this. There we go. Do I need to order anything else? I don't think so. And then the other thing that we need to do is basically, well, grow the trees. That's for sure. And we also need to absolutely custom uh, add some custom design, like a, a path or something. I've, I'm leaning towards these tiles here underneath. Um, yeah, underneath all these little setups so that we may make it just like a little bit cuter. Um, okay, I'm going to go and just take a picture of this with my phone real quick. Okay, and I also just quickly ordered the dresses that I put down here. And then I would say let's go ahead and jump um, so that the trees are grown. I think I'm going to jump three days first because I think this one here is going to be a smaller tree. Um, so yeah, let's get that done and then we'll take care of the rest. Okay, the item in the store today is not that much better. Um, and I did get the delivered thing. So let me just actually start by swapping out the sewing box here. Uh, plus, we could technically add... We can technically maybe add a little bit of path right there. I want to try the tiles as well. I've been wondering, what does it look like if I just put these two together, by the way? Because what if I just put these two, then I place the lock bench on top of it, and then I add maybe the the broken off tile design, like this one here. Maybe that can work. And then I mean that paper bag is still going to be customized, which I think we maybe can do first. All right, so this one I think will grow tall, even if I'm a little scared it'll cover too many things, but we'll try. This one here will definitely stay this size, which I don't think I've got any fruit with me, right? No. Okay. <laughs> of course not. Because why would I? Why would I have anything useful with me? Okay. So our um, DIY workbench can take up its place right here. And then I also should clear my pockets. I reordered the dresses and stuff, uh, but none of this I think will be will be used really in the area. So I can probably go ahead and empty my pockets mostly. And then, you know, next up we can work on customizing all the stuff. So let me get something out. We will get out some uh, fruit. Mm, let's go ahead and use, I think, peaches. Okay, so... There we go. That is basically all I needed, I think. <laughs> I was overthinking it again. So here are the peaches. There we go. Um, and then looking at the time, the episode will already be quite long. I'm this, like time restriction is driving me nuts. Um, anyways, <laughs> um, I think what we might be doing is that today we will figure out the basic like setup of this part. And then we'll go back to it another time. Uh, and that includes like the other beaches I've done before as well. And we will customize, um, not customize, oh my gosh, my brain. Uh, and we will take care of the fillers for my beaches some other time. That might be what we do because I think, and also like, I mean, we'll probably just do like fillers around this part and the beach by the Able Sisters because they're all kind of, um, kind of like one area. Oh, and speaking of, I should have probably mentioned this earlier. Um, speaking of, uh, two small-ish things. Number one, uh, regarding the Let's Play, I have decided, I'm not sure I've talked about this before. Um, I have decided that I actually would like to do one of the areas still left open on this island as a long play. So in case you haven't seen these just yet, um, I basically have been, you know, I've tried like a new format on my channel and it did pretty well and it was very fun for me. So I would like to make it like a regular thing, which are long plays. So that means I will take one area of my island and I will try to build that up completely, like start to finish. And I will basically like chat throughout the entire thing, kind of like I do in the Let's Play, I would say. Um, sometimes if I do like maybe very repetitive things, uh, there also might be some more quiet moments. 
um, to be fair. But like a lot of times I will uh, talk throughout the entire thing and just work on it completely being finished somewhat. And uh, yeah, I've been really, really enjoying that. And um, I would like to turn the area in the very back left into one of those long plays. Now the cliffs have already been built, but I think we're gonna add a little bit of water. I'm talking about like this part here, uh, not including the museum. I'm just talking like the sunken part. And so that will be a long play, you know, that will be a long play coming at some point. I'm not entirely sure when we're gonna do that just yet, but just as a little heads up, I guess. Um, and then the other thing that I just do wanna mention, um, because I, I think it might impact like next week's episode, I recently, like literally very recently got a job and if you're watching this while it's airing on a Saturday, then my first day is literally Monday. So it's all happening pretty quickly and I will say that I think it might take me like a little bit of an adjusting period where I kind of get used to the, um, yeah, splitting my time up between my content creation and my, uh, my new job, which I am very excited about by the way. Like, I'm actually very, very excited. Okay, none of this can be planted. Actually, this probably could, but I don't know if I wanted to. <laughs> I think we might just turn all of this into um, into custom designs. Um, but yeah, so just, just mentioning that because I do believe um, that I won't be able to have two episodes next week. Just as a little, uh, just as a little note. And um, maybe here or there, I will kind of struggle a little bit towards the start to keep up my regular amount of videos. And you might also have noticed that I've really, I haven't been the greatest at posting videos the last week either because I've been working on the Encanto thing, which is always just taking like all of the, all of the time and all the brain power that I have. And um, yeah, but regardless, that's just kind of something I did want to share because it might become more or less relevant to uh yeah to the upload schedule so just just on the side there um i hope not too much is going to change really i'm just saying it just in case uh but yeah <laughs> i uh yeah i got a job so all right that aside though um i kind of want to see if i like the shell partition with this oh right wait i have to place it from the other side that's right that's right there we go. I kind of thought that that wouldn't wouldn't work for a little bit. Okay. See, I'm already starting to like this a lot more with a custom design underneath, not gonna lie. I think that's quite cute. Now I kind of have to think about, because obviously until this point, we literally have not included any pink in this entire build, which I feel like we maybe should. Um, we could have like maybe the fabric underneath this like the zen cushions maybe we can have those in some type of pink and maybe here as well and the moroccan footrest could technically also be pink still kind of want to just go like piece by piece so i always see what the things look like like i don't want to take everything away customize it and put it back in only to realize like oh i actually kind of hate it um but we'll take everything apart like piece by piece so the only pink stuff that i have to be fair is either this like flower print or this one so i think we're gonna go with this here and i might try the flower print on top of the chair if that's not too bold looking if that's not too weird looking uh, and then the cushion i think i don't want to have in this i want to have maybe maybe something like this here still checkered but like a very different type of checkered okay and then the wooden stool i'd like to keep it i'd like to keep it blue maybe oh i don't know if i'm gonna like this Let's try. I like to keep it blue, but maybe just the fabric changes. Alrighty, there we go. There we go, there we go. And then also underneath that, I feel like we should add, um, we should add, oh wait, where did I have the stool? Did I have it centered? Cause then I don't think anything around here can be planted anything. Okay, don't like the custom design though. I can already kind of say that for sure. I don't really love it. Oopsie. Uh, maybe this can be also the tile design. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. When you're slightly angled into the wrong direction, everything always goes to hell. I hate it a lot. Okay, let me think. So, I mean, this one here should probably be the corner. 
And maybe this can be like a middle tile. And then these up here can also be the upper corner pieces like this and this. All right. And then this here. Oh, it can also just be a corner. I was like, maybe that has to be the broken piece, whatever. But no, this can be just, just, just be the corner. And that should be fine. And then a lot of things can kind of go somewhat back into place. But I do have to pick a few of them up again. All right. Sewing machine goes here. There we go. And this was the pile of Zen cushions along with the regular cushion on top. Oh, interesting. Oh, actually, wait, maybe we'll have to switch those around. Yep, we'll have to switch those around. Okay, lots of stuff changing. <laughs> lots of stuff changing. Oh my god. This is, it's so, it's kind of sad because sometimes I feel like adding custom designs like makes it harder somewhat. It makes an area like... I don't know. Or maybe I can keep this and put this on the left hand side and we'll just make this one here. The light pink like checkered print here like this. There we go. And the pile of Zen cushion is going to be that like bigger checkered design so that we have more contrast to the to the beach itself. I think that was kind of throwing me off maybe. And then maybe for the wooden stool, we can also kind of check this one this one or how do we feel about this one <gasps> i maybe kind of like this and i mean i feel like these checkered ones kind of seem awesome maybe we'll go with this then <laughs> maybe we'll go with this okay let's see about this oh wait i had the other uh, i had this cushion as like a checkered one too that might not be nice that might not be very nice I think I like this better now. Okay, I still need to think about this custom design, and then I feel like this isn't it. Do we think we could like the stripe design for the Zen cushions? It might be like weird with the the color of like the beach, if that makes sense. And then for the wooden stool, I kind of want to try this like coastal print. But I think it I don't know, this coastal print is like it's very cute. I like it. But sometimes it feels hard to use in combination with some of my other custom designs because it just seems so different, you know? Maybe it's kind of okay though because it's a little bit softer compared to like the rest. And then here is the... Actually, I feel like that's cute. Um, I kind of want to try the pink Moroccan footrest now. And then what do we do here? What do we do for these? It comes with like this well-used or blue striped version, which also might be okay. Like that might that might work for this part. Um, We could go with this softer blue checkered. And I feel like to be fair, the blue stripes kind of look good on the shirt, but I don't know if I love them. So maybe we'll just maybe we'll just turn one of them blue and then the other one honestly just stays white because that could still work, right? Like a white shirt is still fine for our theme. Okay, so pink Moroccan footrest right there with the cushion on top. Okay, yeah, we have like a little bit of, of um, pink involved now, which I think might be kind of nice. Okay, and then this is, I don't know how, how I had these aligned. But I think the, was the parasol placed like that? I think so, right? I just think the... Eh. Oh my god, I can't... There we go. I, th I just think this one here was pulled in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, maybe like this. This over here is okay-ish, apart from missing custom designs. Which, you know what? Let me just add those. All right, there we go. Oh, and also one thing I did want to try was maybe switch out the straw border for the one that I am actually wearing. Uh, I did reorder it so I can put it on again in a second. But just because I feel like this ties in the brown from the um, from this box over here a little bit better. Yeah. All right. I kind of like our little display over here. Um, now, I guess it also probably will depend on what we do with the land part, like how we do those filler decorations. But I think I'm somewhat happy with this. Um, maybe this over here could have another clothesline if we wanted to. And then maybe this is still standing out a little bit too much. Plus, this is very vibrant and bright. But um, also, oh wait, we still have flowers as well. Like, I think the minute we add pink flowers to that part, that'll probably also change it a whole bunch, right? 
So maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Maybe I'm overthinking a couple of decisions that I don't need to overthink because in the end, the flowers will the flowers will help us kind of tie this together. All right. So with my hat back on, uh, this might be where we kind of leave it. I feel like, yeah, the trees aren't all perfectly grown to their correct stage just yet, but I think it's more or less like the area um, yeah, that we, that we wanted to create somewhat. I do hope that you enjoyed it today. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. So you don't miss the next episode. And then, uh, yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Bye everyone.